Pro Bono ASL. A Bi POC Interpreter's Humanifesto and Open Letter to the Deaf Community. Filmed in Los Angeles 2020. As a collective, we recognize that history is written by the colonizer and oppressor. We pledge to use our collective skill sets to bring to light those stories that history has forgotten, ignored, or altered. We believe in ensuring the accuracy of our lived stories written in history. Additionally, we work to correct the white savior history that has been long perpetrated. While holding academia accountable as an accessory to that lie. Based on our collective experiences as black, indigenous, people of color, and allies, we recognize the common denominator. The common denominator in the injustice done towards by POC to be the white supremacist, heteronormative, patriarchal system. We pledge to dismantle those same oppressive systems in order to liberate our black, brown, and indigenous siblings. We are tired, yet continue to fight in hopes for a better tomorrow. We believe those that have power and that have privilege have a duty to protect and empower those who have not been afforded them. We work to create a world where access to information, communication, and the social revolution is a priority. We envision a world where the often overlooked inclusion is the norm. As a collective, the members of Pro Bono ASL pledge to use the privileges cast on us by society to spotlight, center, and uplift our Black, Brown, Indigenous, Deaf, Deafblind, and Hard of Hearing communities at their intersecting identities as LGBTQ plus individuals. We rise together in unison and as community members with oppressed voices to ensure their liberation and success in all endeavors. Our goal is to empower marginalized communities in all matters pertaining to social liberation. Using our collective power, we demand and actively work to protect cultural, linguistic access to the social revolution. Our time, our love, and our hands will fight for what is right. And when we fight, we win. To the deaf community. The deaf community has been historically marginalized and actively been denied language access. Especially to crucial information and spaces. Most recently, an instance in which there is a lack of access comes from the current occupant of the White House and their administration's refusal to provide access to their press conferences, withholding crucial information regarding the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. Although this affects all members of the deaf community, deaf by POC members have experienced this marginalization and lack of language access tenfold.
To quote an article published by the Gallaudet University Press, quote, The deaf form a society, a large society with its own elite group. These matters are self-evident. End quote. The deaf elite function under the pillars of white supremacy. Accumulating power and authority within the deaf community from positions of power within large deaf organizations, the deaf elite have heavily dominated influenced deaf society as well as the interpreting community. Five POC members of the deaf community deserve interpreters who understand their struggles. They deserve interpreters they can easily understand without the need to code switch themselves in order to level with the interpreter. Language standardization and the influence that the deaf elite have in matters pertaining to interpreter training programs have been an obstacle and true equal access for the deaf by POC. For this reason, we value our community taught interpreters, for they have been fostered directly by the deaf by POC community that we are so passionate in uplifting. As a collective, we believe in the liberation of all peoples, including the liberation of deaf by POC from the linguistic and societal constraints put forth on them that are rooted in the influence held by the deaf elite. Providing genuine accessibility and protecting space for the deaf by POC community is our priority. We believe in the power of community care and use that as a guiding principle in our fight against autism and racism that deaf by POC are faced with. We seek to be transparent in our intentions and our work is done without guilt. We are not timid about our objectives or methods. We will not filter messages or intentions to accommodate white fragility any longer. In short, we believe that deaf individuals at all intersections of their identity should have a network in which they feel safe and comfortable reaching out to knowing that they will be met with cultural competence and care. Collectively, we are interpreters, yes. Individually, we come from a broad range of backgrounds, identities, and experiences. These identities and experience will serve to benefit the services and community care we offer to death by POC. Our courage and relentless spirit of justice will be our guiding light.